Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation, for the first time in its history, Russia used its hypersonic weapon and fired it into Ukraine. And everybody's all worked up about it. Meanwhile, it seems like he's hitting malls, he's hitting hospitals, he's hitting places where children and women are gathered. By the way, I wanna just say this. You know what, I'm all for, just like in the Titanic, women and children first. But you know what? It's bad when men and boys die too. My goodness gracious, he's killing everybody. It's all terrible. Word in the, there's a report out that the European Union members, France, Germany, and some others, sold arms to Russia before the Ukrainian invasion. That's whacked, if it's true. Meanwhile, Russians are all panic buying. Can you imagine if you are a citizen of Russia? You're getting everything cut off. Everything's being restricted. I mean, it must be hell right now to be a Russian citizen. Even worse, to be a Ukrainian citizen. But the Russian citizens are having a tough time too. It looks like Belarus is getting ready to invade, according to Ukraine, the Ukraine country as well, to help out Russia. We'll see if that happens or not. Putin held a big old rally <laughs> in Moscow. <laughs> You know, can you imagine him gathering up? You will go to this stadium, you will go to this rally, or you will be shot. Scary. Sad news, four Marines passed away in Norway in a military exercise with an Asprey helicopter. Very, 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 very sad. Training Ukrainians. Twitter has banned, temporarily, Babylon B, And they wanted Babylon B to do all these things to get back on, and Babylon B is saying no. If you didn't know, Babylon B is this sarcastic, humorous site. And you know what it was? When they awarded Man of the, or Woman of the Year to uh, Levine, the, the HHS secretary. I mean, they make fun of this guy, and that's what gets him banned. Georgia and Maryland have suspended the gas tax. I think that maybe it's time to suspend the gas tax in Kentucky, and I call on Governor Bashir to do so. Remember I said the next thing that's going to come out of Washington was they're going to want some kind of a bailout of Americans for the gasoline price? Well, apparently the White House did kick around the idea of giving Americans gas cards. See, I told you. I called it way before it happened. See, so many commentators just comment about what happened, and I do that too. But so few predict the future, like I do. I'm a regular Kreskin. Uh, Black Rifle Coffee is skyrocketing. I think their sales, they said, went up like 300%. This is the alternative to the liberal Starbucks. They make no bones about it. They're the conservative coffee drinking place. <laughs> they, got, they name their coffees after weapons. <laughs> China. China has militarized three South China Sea bases. By the way, who let all that go down? Obama. Obama. It's messed up, man. Uh, Clarence Thomas is sick, but good news is apparently he just has the flu and he's in the hospital. He's doing better and he'll be out soon. He's only 73 years old. I don't think Clarence Thomas is going any place anytime soon. Uh, meanwhile, the whole world's collapsing around us. Biden took a bike ride in Delaware with his helmet on. You know what? Obama used to do that too. You know, of course, Biden probably needs a helmet because he really might fall off this freaking bike. Uh, Bloomberg, you can't make this up. This Bloomberg chick comes out and says, Inflation is only bothering people that make less than 300,000. Well, you think that's not 95%, 99% of the people? <laughs> and said some goofy things like you should use public transportation. I mean, it's, it's gotten blasted, but it's, it's incredible what these people do. By the way, this popped in my mind, totally unrelated to any current news items, but I wanted to comment about it because all the terrorism and everything, do you remember how stupid, this is another example of something just stupid, doesn't make sense. You know there's some corruption behind it, that he traded, Barack Obama traded those terrorists from Guantanamo Bay to get back bird dog, 
Bergdahl, the deserter. Like, it made no sense. <laughs> you remember that? Uh, diesel is now $7 in California. Poor truckers. Poor everybody. Did you hear about Kid Rock? Kid Rock has an interview with Tucker Carlson. Well, he says F them all because he doesn't give an F. And, you know, he doesn't care about being canceled. They can't cancel him, so forth and so on. You got to love Kid Rock's fight. Uh, Gibbons and Mandel about had a fist fight on the stage. For full disclosure, I'm a supporter of Mike Gibbons. I spent the day with him on February 23rd down in Mar-a-Lago, and I really like the guy. And I'm for Gibbons. But Gibbons and Mandel almost went at it. I think it was all Mandel's fault, and uh, I think it'll only help Gibbons. Because you know what? When you're Gibbons' age and you're standing up to the punk Josh Mandel, I think that, I think especially Trump voters like that. But uh, it was all the rage over the weekend. You hear about this? Disney, upset about the law that DeSantis and the Floridians passed. They're putting back in. They took it out, but they're putting back in a gay kiss and Bud Light. You believe that? You believe that? They feel compelled to put a gay kiss in Buzz Lightyear. I mean, gosh, dang. I mean, I tell you right now, I ain't taking the angels to see it. Uh, Hunter's baby mama's apparently given all kinds of information to the feds. And I think her lawyer says he'd be shocked if he wasn't indicted. Folks, no one ever gets indicted. No, nothing bad ever happens to any of these freaking rotten apples. The only people that ever get in trouble are you and me and average Joe Americans. Nobody else ever gets in trouble, right? Last but not least, I found this very humorous. There, the Republican state legislature has said it's not off the table to impeach Maureen O'Connor, the bitch herself. Maureen O'Connor is the Chief Justice of the Ohio Supreme Court. She's really going to love the butcher of Pakistan. This woman is evil. She's bought and paid for by the healthcare industry and large defense firms. And she has been, instead of just allowing the Republican legislature to do the redistricting, sorry, Maureen, they won. She's trying to act like she is this great arbitrator, and she keeps blowing up one proposal after the other. You see, Maureen O'Connor is really a Democrat when it comes to all these other issues because she's worried about her legacy. She acts like she cares. She doesn't care about the Durrani victims. She doesn't care about any victim of a doctor, any victim of a hospital. But she acts like she cares about the public and the redistricting plan. And she cares about criminals. And she cares about all that. She's a big phony. And she's worried about her legacy. Well, I tell you right now, I contacted an Ohio legislature and I said, let me send you some information. Because you know what? She should be impeached for what she did to the Durrani victims. Maybe they'll impeach her for both reasons. I would love to see it. The impeachment of Maureen O'Connor. First class bitch. This is the bulldog. Every dog has their day. Hope you have a great day.